Hey there and welcome back to the channel. Okay, I want to start by stating that I love A Streetcar Named Marge. I think it's such an underrated episode. So, the episode's premise parallels the plot of Tennessee Williams' A Streetcar through Homer and Marge's relationship. Now, normally I dislike Marriage Crisis episodes, as I think they're overdone and generally the same, but I think the fact this one is a parody definitely aids the plot. Unlike other parodies the show would go on to do, this one isn't a direct spoof. So, Marge decides to join an amateur production of a streetcar and lands the role of Blanche, a lost young woman who is abused by her brother-in-law Stanley, who is played by Flanders in this episode. These choices are great as it already juxtaposes the character roles, as Ned is a kind and caring person, whereas Stanley is just a slob trying to get his own way. The episode slowly unravels the point that Marge is feeling neglected by a husband who doesn't care and her spirit is beginning to break. This is clear through her one-sided phone call with Homer. Homie, I didn't get the part. You were right, outside interests are stupid. Wait a minute. Mm, I'll come home right away. All right, I'll pick up a bucket of fried chicken, extra skin, rolls, chocolate cream parfait, <gasps> Stop bothering my lunch! <gasps> Not only does this establish Homer's selfishness, but you can hear through her line delivery how broken Marge feels. It's only through her role as Blanche that we see her rise in confidence and the ability to do the job well. I think it would have been far too easy for the writers to just do a straight homage to the source material, but I think the place setting allows there to be more of an organic reason for character interactions and the point they're trying to illustrate. At no point in the episode does this feel better than when Marge and Flanders are trying to rehearse their lines, but Homer brutishly interrupts them. Marge, can I get some change for the candy machine? Oh, here! Hey, there's some quarters in here. I just don't see what's so bad about Stanley. <laughs> Stanley is thoughtless, violent, and loud. Marge, every second you spend with this man, he is crushing your fragile spirit. You can't let that happen. Woohoo! Come to Papa. Marge, I'll be out in the car. All I want is one embrace. Marge, move it or lose it. This seething rage Marge feels is what propels her confidence forward and her attack on Ned highlights this in the funniest possible way. Especially as the next time we see him he has a bloody bandage on his chest. I feel I should quickly address it, but the weakest plot of the episode is the unnecessary B plot of Maggie and Dacre. It's a second parody motif, this time The Great Escape, but I wish more time was dedicated to Marge, as this is one of her better centric episodes. While having a strong emotional narrative, this episode didn't neglect the humour as every line between Llewellyn and Otto was hilarious. Oh ye gods! Hey man, if you like that, you should see my butt. Except you, you're not working out. I'll be playing your part. Drag. I don't know why of all the secondary characters they chose to rip on Otto so much, but hey, it works. Although, I could see why some people might find the ending a little bit too meta or just too much. I think it's the perfect way to end this episode. I wasn't bored, I was sad. It really got to me how that lady here... Um, you know which one I mean, you played her. Blanche. Yeah, how Blanche was sad and how that guy Stanley should have been nice to her. Yeah, go on. I mean, it made me feel bad. The poor thing ends up being hauled to the nut house when all she needed was for that big slob to show her some respect. Well, at least that's what I thought. I have a history of missing a point of stuff like this. I think Homer's somewhat self awareity was the closest to an apology Marge was going to get, and it works. But I think he had to be a massive jerk throughout the plot for it to stick the landing this well. I think it's the most effective way to return the show to its status quo. That's just my thoughts though, I would love to hear what you all think in comments down below. If you enjoyed what you saw then could you please hit that like button and subscribe, it will help my channel grow. Please stay close as I try to post new content as often as possible.